The first step to making really anything is to start by making the colors. Unless you plan on painting it, but I can't paint, so I'm always gonna start by making the colors. What I need for this is a light blue, a maroon, and some tan and pinkish tan. Then I make a, just a ball of clay and pinch it out until I have a raindrop shape and a ball of clay on the top that's going to become the head. Right here, I shape out the head into more of a cone that is facing forwards, and then I cut it to the size that I need, and then cut in a mouth. Once I have the mouth cut in, I just poke and pinch it until I get a proper mouth shape with the upper and lower jaws being able to shut on each other, which I tested off of video. Once I have these shaped, poked, and pinched, and also cut to size, I can start to work on the detailing, like the little bit of fat under the neck. Totodile does have a double chin. It is in the, the art that I was looking at, uh, so I made it. Next, I indent the upper and lower jaw to allow me it to like actually put stuff there later, and also because that's how it is, just in general. And once I have that, I can poke in the two nostrils. Once I have everything in the head all settled, I can add the tail. Which, if you want to be more efficient, you can just add a little bit extra clay from the beginning and pinch it out into a tail shape instead of adding it later. This gets blended in so that there is no visible seam and just pinched. Next, I add some legs, which is just a tube of clay with a little fat stuff on the top, and then a foot shape. The three toes get cut in with a sharp object, and then they get placed where they are in general. Once they are both placed on and positioned correctly, I can blend both of them in. Once both of these two are blended completely, similar to the tail with no seams, but this time very obvious point from where they go off, I can, well, reshape it to the proper shape, and then I can start working on the arms and the hands. This is just a more tube shape with a flattened bottom so that it's easier to attach with then pinching out the thumb and then the four fingers. These get added to both sides, directly above where the legs are attached, and then they are blended in, similar to the legs, basically in the exact same style, with no visible seam. Once those two are done, I can add the detailing on the back, in maroon, which is a triangle on the bottom part, on actively on the tail, and then a group of three triangles, with the middle one being the longest, and the two on the sides being a little bit smaller, on the direct back. Then, parallel to it, there are two worms of maroon clay, that are just the, about the same size. And on both sides. After this, I make the piece that is going for the tan and the little shell on the front. This gets, this gets placed on the body and it is repeated and mirrored onto the other side with it being cut off around the arm. Then I make sure the indent in the middle is clear and then I add something. I don't know what I added. After that, I add the light tannish pink into all areas of the mouth. And then I just make sure that there are no gaps or seams that can't be blended together. And once all of those are color covered, I blend them all in. This is blended in so that there is no seam within the mouth, but it isn't actually blended into anything else around it. Just blended in with itself. After this, I make all of the teeth, all of the eight different teeth, with two of them being medium sized, then all of them in decreasing in size in groups of two, with two being the same size. The two largest ones go on the top, then the second largest ones in the front bottom, then the third largest ones 
next to it in the middle of the next ones, which are the smallest ones, which go behind that. After that, I add a tongue, which is just a ball of clay with an indent in the center that doesn't go all the way to the edge. And then I bake it and add some extra clay to the back part above the mouth in order to add eyes. Once I have this added, I can add two flat pieces of clay to either side in order to bulk up the area for the eyes and give it the correct shape that it has, which is more of a dinosaur shape or crocodile shape. These two flat pieces get mostly blended in and then just flattened, pressed, poked until there is no seam or gap or it is just the correct shape in general. Then once I have that shape on there, I can add the little black part that is behind the eyes, more like eye bags, I guess. And then I can add the eyes themselves on top and in the middle of it. Then I can add the reds and maroonish pupil, then the black inside of it and the highlights to the eyes. Then I surround the eyes in a worm of, of the same light blue clay that the rest of this is made so that the eyes look like they're actually inside of the head. This gets blended into the rest of the blue, but it does not get blended into the actual eye itself. This happens to both eyes and gets blended in the same way both times. Once these get fully blended in, I add a little extra material to the bottom jaw to make it look more accurate to the actual model itself. After this, the actual totodile is finished and I can add a base. This is just a green base that it get, the totodile gets pressed into and with that, it's done. <laughs> As always, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like it. If you want to see more, subscribe. And if you want to see something specific, leave it in the comments.